Hey there, starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and start into your power. For those of you who've never ventured to my sector of the universe before, welcome, welcome, welcome. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for rejoining me for another weekly reading. Okay, I do have one announcement. I am offering 25% off on all my services from now until May 31st to celebrate Mother's Day and all the mothers out there and to celebrate my son's birthday. You can go to www.capellawellness.com or click on the link in the description box below. Again, I'm offering 25% off for all my services. So if you would like a personal reading, head on over to my website and go ahead and use the code MAY25. May 252, not 252, I'm sorry, May 25 as your discount code when you check out, okay? With that being said, let's get into the reading. Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading. Okay, we're going to get right into it. If you haven't been here before, we're going to go over your overall energies first for the week of May 3rd to May 9th. Again, time is fluid. If this happens to pop up in your YouTube feed and it's not May 2nd to May 9th, this is the right time for you to watch these messages, okay? To receive them, I should say. All right, Pisces, what is your overall energy for this week? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh, water energy coming up. It's the King of Cups, King of Raphael. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. Okay, so for some of you, King of Cups energy. Oh, they always tell me when I start talking to look at the bottom of the deck. Look, Queen, another court card. Queen of Michael, Queen of Swords. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience at time for your career rather than relationships. Okay, a few things here. All right, Pisces, your overall energy for this week. There's a lot of compassion here, a lot of love. You've mastered your intuition. It's like mastering the art of love I'm getting from spirit. You are refined. You're a lot more warm and generous. Some of you may actually be counselors or are thinking of being a counselor. Um, they do want you to know that if you're having doubts about anything and you're not trusting in something, it is safe to trust. With the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, she doesn't really tap into her emotions. She's the least emotional of the queens in tarot. And sometimes she tends to use too much logic and her saddle shine when she's making decisions and she doesn't necessarily use her heart. Um, again, with her shadow side, she doesn't necessarily have that head heart balance. The King of Raphael of Cups has that head heart balance. He's removing or she is removing himself or herself from drama. They are in tune with their emotions. They, um, they're very giving in the sense they want to be very um, loving and caring to people. Kind of like um, there's a little bit of philanthropy I'm also getting from this card. They just want you to continue this mastery that you have achieved, especially with trusting your intuition and staying above water, right? He's not in the water. In some of these cards, he's underwater. It depends, right? Sometimes he's halfway out, he's underneath, whatever it is. But this guy is above water. And he has two dolphins here, which are telling me um, this could also be communicating love for somebody. Um, the queen of swords here is learning your lessons and learning the power of healing through love. You've gone through your hard knocks. You fully understand what love is now. And now you're ready to um, communicate that. Even though sometimes the king of uh, 
cups doesn't express his emotions. Sometimes he keeps it in. But with the queen at the bottom, this is telling me that you've learned what true love is, what unconditional love is. You found the Holy Grail, okay? You were completely fulfilled, kind of like Ace of Cups. You found your fulfillment. What makes you blissful, what makes you truly happy? Because you have gone through so many things in your life and you've learned from them. You are no longer going to make excuses for how you feel about people, about things. You're no longer going to make excuses for being in tune with your emotions, for being compassionate and generous. Okay, so there's a lot of loving energy for you guys this week. And because you are Pisces, that just um, augments it, right? There's a lot more, there's amplification of love I'm getting from this. And you're beginning to not necessarily cut out people because of your emotions when you get too attached to them emotionally, okay? I'm getting for some of you. So, yes, this week is bringing in a lot of love and generosity and compassion I'm getting. And again, there's something along the lines of trusting yourself, your intuition, your emotions. And with the dolphins, again, there's more communication, like I said, also kind of not being too uptight, too serious, and learning how to play a little bit, okay? We're now going to see what you need to focus on for this week. What is it that Pisces needs to focus on for this week, please? And thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. What does Pisces need to focus on for this week? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Does Pisces need to focus on for this week, please? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. There's intuition here. The moon. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. The bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. There's so much. There is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. That is awesome, Pisces. So, yes, this is involving something that you really care about, something you really love. It could be with family. Um, there's something with home I'm getting because of the Ten of Pentacles that they want you to trust your intuition. Again, King of Cups, he trusts his intuition. He's the master of his emotions, of trusting his intuition. He follows it with all his heart and he does and says things out of love. He's learned to do that now. And with the moon, this is all about focusing on trusting your intuition. Yes, sometimes the moon talks about fears and uncertainties and the dark night of the soul, but because this is something you need to focus on, what sticks out is listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. And Ten of Pentacles is basically um, listening to your heart as to what brings you the ultimate achievement, the ultimate life that you want, the happy home, the happy marriage, the happy kids, the happy family life, the happy marriage, all of that, the prosperity, the abundance, the wealth. Like I usually hear the Ten of Pentacles is the quintessential dream, right? These are also dreams, as I say dream. Trust your heart, follow your dreams. Okay, this is also telling me to listen. You're getting a lot of psychic insights, a lot of dreams lately. They're probably telling you how to build that material wealth, how to get to that 10 of pentacles in your life. I'm getting 
yeah, there's something along those lines like you or you guys are going to have heightened dreams this week with regards to your ultimate fulfillment, your ultimate happiness. Okay, they want you to trust in that. And as soon as you get those intuitive hits, act upon them. Okay, we're going to clarify the moon, but we're first going to see what you need to avoid for this week. Okay. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, play in Syrians, please reveal to us for our highest good what does Pisces need to avoid for this week. Please and thank you. You guys got two cards. Eight of Raphael, the Eight of Cups. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. A special quest. And then we have Seven of Michael, Seven of Swords. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Bottom of the deck. Three of Gabriel, Three of Wands. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Take time to... Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. Okay. Here we go. All right. They want me to do this. Can you see that? Yeah. To avoid Pisces. Eight of Cups and Seven of Swords. This is... Not getting caught up in your negative thoughts about what you know your heart is true, okay? They want you to walk away from deceiving yourself from what is owed to you, for what is destined for you, for what you deserve in life. See that guy? He wants to follow that dark path. Archangel Michael's like, no, take the path to your abundance, your fulfillment, your, your ultimate dream, your ultimate happiness. Where, why are you going that way? Oh, because, well, it's, nothing's really happened to me for, before. And, and maybe I followed my heart once and it led me in the wrong direction. But again, rejection is protection. We can follow our heart to do something. And then if it doesn't work out in our favor, it's like, well, wait a minute. That totally contradicts what you guys want us to do to follow our heart. I do have an example, but I can't say it on this video because it's it's a long story where I had the strong intuition to do something and I followed my heart and it did not work out in my favor, but it didn't work out in my favor at the time. My abundance came well after that. Um, maybe I'll do a video about what that is because maybe this is what this is going on for some of you. Or you followed your heart and it, you thought it led you in the wrong direction, but it really was leading you to this, on this path. So don't take that dark path. You have to trust your heart. Follow your dreams. Follow that light in here with the Eight of Cups. You're getting these intuitive hits. You need to walk away from what no longer serves you. You need to avoid staying on this side of the bridge Looking at that treasure, for some of you, you're maybe afraid to leave something behind, a home. Um, maybe you want to pursue a, a job. Like I said, maybe you want to be a counselor, but you're an accountant and you're making a lot of money. You are, are, are um, you know, you're an engineer and you're making a lot of money, but you really want to help people. You really want to counsel people into doing things. You have this compassion, this love for people. You just want to genuinely help them, right? You're so warm hearted that you're like, oh man, I don't know because I'm making a look at all this bank I got in this uh, treasure chest. Um, I'm not sure I want to cross that bridge. And here is Archangel Raphael, Ace of Cups. Your true wish fulfillment is on the other side of that bridge. It's not where that treasure chest is. But you know what? When you follow your heart and your passions, you can end up having three of these as opposed to one. Okay? That's what I'm getting from spirit. So they really want you to follow your heart and walk away from no longer serves you anymore, especially if this is regarding some sort of job. And, you know, it's you're, you're being deceived thinking that you have to have this job that doesn't bring you emotional fulfillment. And that, you know, you're afraid of losing that money. 
but just watch what happens when you follow your dreams and your hopes and your wishes and you go after what it is that you want. You have to follow your heart and trust what your heart is telling you this time around. Even if maybe it didn't work out, just reevaluate it and think, wait a minute. If I cross this bridge, I take that risk. I am going to find that fulfillment. And your fulfillment is that 10 of pentacles. You're thinking you can't have it all. A lot of us can. It's it's not impossible. We do have to trust though. We have to follow our our light. We have to follow that divine guidance to get us to our ultimate fulfillment. That ace of cups. It's the holy grail that you guys have been dreaming about. And you've been getting these psychic hits as to how to attain it. What you need to do. Leave that job. Leave that home. Leave that old life. Whatever it is. But you're kind of, oh, I don't know. Deceptive thoughts. You're deceiving yourself. Because it's an illusion. Walk away from those illusions, okay? Eight of Cups leads you to the Ninth Cup. And Archangel Raphael has the Ninth Cup right over there at the other side of the bridge. With the Three of Wands at the bottom... You've been on this journey. They don't want you to wait any longer. Stop waiting. I'm getting from spirit. You're wanting something to change. Your ships to come in. Like this abundance to come in. But you need to cross the bridge first. In order to get this. Is what I'm getting from spirit. Okay Pisces. Don't rest on your laurels. Now it's time for you to cross the bridge. You've done all this work to get to the bridge. Now you have to cross it. And get to the other side. Okay. That's what you need to avoid this week. We will go over. Um, we will get clarity. Not clarity. Well maybe yes. And as I say clarity. There's. <laughs> Ace of swords at the bottom. Before I shuffle. We're going, to we're going to clarify the energies. For both. What you need to focus on. What you need to avoid. Okay. Spirit guides. Angels. Galactic family. Pleading series. Please clarify the moon. For Pisces, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Please clarify the moon for Pisces. Spirit guides and angels, thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces. You've been working hard at something. Spirit wants you to focus on your goals and stick to them. Don't lose sight of your hopes and your dreams. That's what they want you to focus on. Again, you're getting these psychic hits that your heart's telling you what it is you need to follow, what you want to achieve, what it is that you really want in your life. He's got the ace in his hands. Some of you may be thinking, well, it may take too long. It's been taking too long. I'm not sure. Um... You might even be a little bit stubborn about it because it's like, oh my gosh, you know, if I follow this, I may never make it. But if your thoughts create your reality, if you're not going to make it, you're not going to make it. Because why? You are thinking that you won't. You don't have confidence in yourself. You're not trusting yourself. You're not listening to your heart or your intuition. They want you to keep your eye on the prize, the ace. That is what you really want, Pisces. It's time for you to buckle down and get things done. To go after your hopes and your dreams. Your wishes. You have the opportunity to improve your plans. You just have to um, look at the details. And start doing what it is that you need to do. Change things up a bit. Reformulate your plans. But this guy is very dedicated. And while it may take a long time, he does get to his destination all the time. Okay? You have to keep your eye on the prize. It's kind of like holding the moon in your hands, in a sense. You got to follow that. Stay determined. Stay persistent in what it is that you want your ultimate fulfillment, okay? 
death is at the bottom of the deck. Yep, just like the Ace of Cups. I'm sorry, just like the Eight of Cups. It's time for you to transition to something else. This is releasing all that no longer serves you. You're killing off your old job, your old life, your old relationship, whatever this is. You're moving away from um, focusing on the salary that you get from the job or maybe not having enough money if you want to pursue something that you really want to pursue. Scorpio energy is here. This is huge transformation that they want you to take. You may be undergoing it now and they want you to continue on like the Knight of Pentacles. Look, there's two guys on horses here. Keep moving forward, Pisces. Continue to release no, what no longer serves you so that you can have your new beginning, so you can have your Ace of Pentacles that you're holding in your hand. You just have to continue trudging along, even though it may be taking a long time or you're maybe thinking that it might take a long time if you want to pursue those dreams, okay? You got to trust. You are capable. You can accomplish so much as long as you follow your creative passions. Okay, Pisces? It's time for a massive change. It's time for you guys to move towards what it is that you really want, okay? We're now going to clarify the energies for what you need to avoid, which is the Eight of Cups and Seven of Swords. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, plating, Syrians, can you please clarify the energies for what Pisces needs to avoid. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Knight of Wands. <laughs> Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, energy, fire, energy here. Okay. One of two things I'm getting with this knight here. And real quick, King of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Because we have Eight of Cups and Seven of Swords here. All right, you want me to bring this out? No, don't fall. One of two things. First off, they don't want you to make brash decisions the knight could sometimes be so ambitious and so fiery that he forgets the details like why you need to focus on knight of pentacles energy not knight of wands energy some of you want things to move real fast you're like i want all this stuff i'm trying to manifest it and i have all these dreams and you know but it's not happening or it's gonna take too long i want it to happen real fast Fast, fast, fast. I'm getting this guy is a fast knight. The knight of pentacles is the slowest knight. So there's like a, opposing speeds, right? So here. Walk away from wanting things to happen really quickly for having this super high energy. Just because you want it done. Okay. You want all the these things to come to you. You want your dreams to manifest rapidly. But Spirit is telling me, slow your roll a little bit, Pisces. You need to walk away from trying to control all of that. Yes, high energy, ambition, courage, confidence is awesome. But because this is clarifying what you need to avoid, this is avoiding being too brash and being too quick, being too impulsive with your decisions, with your plans, because wands can also be plans. They want you to take your time, Pisces. Just be patient. The other thing is they want you, here's the other thing with the speed they do want you to start taking risks and moving a little bit more quickly because you're waiting here at the other side of the bridge. I said you got to cross that bridge. So there are two things here. This is a matter of balancing these two energies out, right? 
Don't just take that huge leap over there on the bridge. Just, just walk across it. The Knight of Pentacles just walks across it. He continues to refine things. He continues to keep his eye on the prize. He continues to work hard to get to his destination, to, to get to the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. This is, this is spirit telling you to uh, kick the horse in the rear to get going, to cross the bridge. All right. However, be mindful at the speed at which you do cross that bridge because you can miss something along the bridge. There might be an extra treasure chest sitting in one of the stones over there in that bridge that you might miss. <laughs> this is what I just got from Spirit. Okay. On top of that, don't be all up in your head. Don't be rigid. Don't be stubborn, like with the Knight of Pentacles. Don't use all of your logic in this. That's why they want you to trust your intuition and follow your heart. Put more love into this instead of logic. Instead of overthinking, utilizing your mind all the time because, well, I have to, this is the way it's done logically. Everybody does it this way. It's written this way, so that's what I should follow, right? Communication books, things that are written down. I'm getting from spirit. Maybe some of you are thinking that there is a surefire way that you're looking up on YouTube or something or Googling to, to pursue something, whether it's building a counseling business or becoming a counselor, switching careers, you're already being told by your guides and your angels what it is to do. Don't use so much of your head in this decision-making. Okay. That's what they want you to avoid. And don't be so stuck in your head about it either. That's why overall energy over there, you've got the king of cups. And then there's the moon. The moon's more water energy, guys. This is all about trusting your emotions. It's safe to trust yourself and follow your creative passions, not stuff that it's completely all just logic. You got to balance that out. Okay, Pisces? All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to get guidance from Spirit with the messages from the Fairies cards, okay? Spirit Guides, Angels, Galactic Family, please, Syrians, please reveal to us for our highest good. What Pisces needs to know, what guidance do we have for Pisces Spirit? <laughs> oh, man. Please and thank you. Business Venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. See that? Can't make this up. Follow through with it, Pisces. You just have to do some hard work and take your time. Be patient. I think I had said that. You got to be patient. Don't go in with the nine of Knight of Wands energy being all like, I will get this done. I just want to get this done. See how my card is doing this? <laughs> I want to get this done. Trust and follow through. Again, trust. The king trusts his heart. He goes after his dreams. That's why it's like, this is all about just trusting why all this water energy is here. Look at the bottom. Patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. Yeah. But the unseen factors, Pisces, not only is the universe working something else that you're not knowing about, you, you can't see, there's also you doing things that need to occur first to actually manifest your dreams into reality, okay? This is totally emphasizing the knight. I was talking about that, the knight of pentacles. He might be slow, he's patient, he takes his time, but he gets to his destination and he does get his success. He does get the ace of pentacles, okay? I was talking about pursuing something for like a career, right? And I kept getting that some of you are thinking, well, I'm making so much money in this job now, I'm not sure. Trust. You're ready, like I said, getting these psychic insights, intuitive hits on this idea, your dreams, all of that stuff. The universe is not going to screw with you when it comes to having those dreams. They're, 
the dream state is really where you get a lot of your answers. So if you need more questions answered before you go to bed, say to yourself, I don't know, your, ask your spirit guides or whomever you pray to or ask for help for in the spiritual realm. Please help me to remember my dreams or please give me the answers I need to know with regards to this business venture, with regards to this whatever it is that you want to pursue. Please give me the answers, additional answers that I need to know in my dreams and please help me to rem remember them before I wake up or when I wake up, okay? Try that and see if that works. It should work. Um, I've been trying that lately and it's surprisingly, I've been getting so many dreams, it's insane. Um, all right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to see what spirit animal is guiding you this week. Okay, Pisces, spirit guides, angels, collective family, plating series. What spirit animal will be guiding Pisces this week? Please and thank you. I wonder if it's going to be a water animal. That would be interesting. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian, Syrians. Which spirit animal is going to be assisting Pisces this week? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh, man. All right. They want me to take all of them because they're like a lot of spirit animals are going to be helping Pisces this week. Coyote, revealer of truth. Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. Uh, yes, Coyote. I said, don't take things too seriously. I think with the King of Swords energy, don't be so rigid. Make time to play with the Dolphins and the King of Cups card. I mentioned that too. The traps and tricks of life, that's seven of swords. You're being deceived. Yep, the traps and tricks of life. Again, being held back because of money or 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 not moving, wanting to move out of your comfort zone, things like that. Black Jaguar, old soul. Walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. See? Enough said about that. Focus, focus on your dreams. You can create dreams and make them a reality. Goose, inner knowing, you are a brave traveler. Your soul dulls the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Yep, that's exactly what I said about the Knight of Pentacles, right? You have this inner knowing. You already know. I kept telling you guys. I kept telling you, Pisces, you already know what it is you need to do and how to do it. Heron, patience. <laughs> Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Yep, step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Again, you've got the bottom of the deck, right? Exactly. King. Oh, Knight of Pentacles energy, right? Have patience. Take your time. You will get your rewards because that's exactly what the Knight of Pentacles does when he follows his dreams and he's just doing what he needs to do and he's staying persistent and determined and he keeps his eye on the prize. He is successful. At the end of the day, he is successful. So he takes his time and he pays attention to the details. Elephant, greatness. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. There's more evidence right there. More confirmation. Naturally, nature, uh, earth energy, right? Organically, you will achieve success without trying to force it, without trying to rush it. You're going to get there, Pisces. You're going to get there. Just take your time. With great things comes great patience, right? But the more time we spend on these wonderful things that we want to achieve, the greater they become. Your greatness is here. Love is your strength. Put love and passion into everything that you do. You can't go wrong when you do that with whatever it is that you want to pursue. 
Wolf, Pathfinder, release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Love, King of Cups, Perseverance, Knight of Pentacles. Like this is just reemphasizing everything. And I think this is also talking about your new journey as that counselor, or that uh, something along the lines of counseling, maybe even spiritual teaching, who knows? But there's something with helping people. You have this passion, this love for just comforting people, helping people, therapist, right? Something along those lines. Teacher, even the teacher, right? Teachers, a lot of them tend to have a lot of compassion for others and they want to help. They are kind of counselors in a way, right? So you have what it takes. Like I said, love and creativity. You put all of that into it with all your heart and you make miracles. The universe helps you to bring those miracles into reality. And we're back to the coyote. So don't take too think don't take things too seriously, okay? You got this, Pisces. All right. The last thing we're going to do, I'm going to have you guys ask a question, okay? Meditate on it while I'm shuffling. And the angels will give you their answer. This is always very accurate. So go ahead. Ask your question. Meditate and I'll be quiet while I'm shuffling. In the near future Pisces this means that whatever you ask for will be happening very soon or there's something that you need to take action on very very soon could go either way I'm getting okay the bottom of the deck is actually no this could either be actual no to your uh, an additional question to what in the near future is that whatever you ask is not going to happen very soon or whatever you ask is telling you, no, don't go this way, go the other way or something along the lines of, um, it may not happen in the time frame that you think it will is what spirit's getting me. But again, this is you. I don't know what you asked. I'm just giving a little bit of guidance for what spirit wants me to tell you guys. But really pay attention to this. Whatever you ask for really deals with this in the near future. And this is very soon. Just continue on your path. Okay. Continue to be diligent and be patient and persevere. Continue to go after your dreams. Trust yourself, your intuition, and keep following what your heart tells you to do. Okay, okay Pisces. That concludes your weekly reading. Thank you so much for watching this video, for subscribing, for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful week. I wish you the best today and always. And I send so, so much love. And I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starting out.